What's up and welcome back to Cardboard Cade. I'm here today with another unboxing of Paradox Rift. I've got the Elite Trainer Boxes. I've got the one with Iron Valiant or uh, Gallade and Salaman slash Roaring Moon on it. Now, I actually haven't looked at these boxes until just now and um, I'm not too sure if you can see it too well, but that little Iron Bundle, the little Iron Bundle promo that's there actually looks like absolutely amazing i didn't realize that that was there i knew that there was two different promos i just didn't know which one was there so you got you got iron bundle you got screen tail we'll have a closer look at them once i switch to the cracking zone part so um it seems like it's your usual you've got your sleeves you got your dice you've got your player's guide which will slip right out like so which you use for all your master setting needs and everything a little bit more of a detailed guide rather than the little sheet unfolded sheet that you get from a build and battle thing um, but yeah, standard, standardly trainer box stuff, box, green stuff, bunch of packs, which is what we're interested in, and then we got our little promo in here somewhere, which I will take out and put to the side, and I'll just take out the contents of the next one, and then I'll switch to the view, which we all want to see. So nice blue, different blue, no packs in there, because we know the uh, 151 debacle we ran into a while back. I'll keep these packs separately so we can see which ETB is going to win this one. And then there's the scream tail, so chuck another side. Alright, so let's go into the cracking stage of this. So this is the iron bundle that I was speaking of. We should be able to get a good look at there. It's, um, yeah, it's pretty much the same one that you get as the promo in the build and battle ones. It just looks so good. It looks so nice. Like, it looks really cute. Even though the fact the iron bundle is probably about, let's say at best, like 8% of the card, it looks amazing. And then the screen tail actually, actually follows the same suit. It's probably a little bit bigger, but that looks so nice. It looks so good. I think, <laughs> wow. They've been really upping their game of promos lately. I, I can't, I can't complain. They look, they look, they look absolutely amazing. So this pack here was, I believe, the Glade, and this one here is the Salamance one. So my bets are on Glade. <laughs> so I'm gonna go straight for the Glade first. Oh man, up until now, honestly, like we've been opening Paradox. Up till now, I'm probably about 27 cards away from uh, Master Setting uh, Paradox Rift. Um, it's been pretty good, it's been pretty decent. Uh, our first case was amazing, it got us to a, like, the, the pre release got us off to a flyer, and then the first case flew that ahead, but then the second case actually only added to probably about six or, if I was lucky, seven cards. To what we were chasing. The funny point, my sister's only opened one case, <laughs> and our second case flew her master set <laughs> one card in front of how much like we need. So she 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 needs only one more than oh wow, I got the Garchomp again. If you guys remember in the last unboxing um video like this, we got the Garchomp before. So we're getting we're getting doubles, we're getting triples, we Doubles are us on this channel. <laughs> Doubles are us. Whenever it is um, I need stuff for um, my own master set, nah, non-existent. But not too bad for the second pack, I believe. So it's okay. Going in, but yeah, like I said, our second our second case quite basically catapulted her set because that second box that we got was pretty much, I think, out of everything that we hit, it was all mostly... Oh, there we go. We've got another hit there. Toxicity EX Hooper. Or no, Hooper. It's a crystallized one, which is not too terrible. Um, yeah, she, we just catapulted her one. I just got one of almost everything, and she needed every single one. I think, I think it was like 20 hits. We got a 20 hits. Oh, yeah, okay, there we go. Now I remember. In that one boost, that one case, in which I got six more, six hits towards furthering our... Um, our own master set, we actually end up getting her 20 hits, which is just wild. Um, but also at the same time, incredibly expected. Uh, <laughs> I'm not surprised in the slightest that that's happened. Um, I usually start to run into like hits when it comes to 
the latter end of the product run of a set and I'm just opening up like little boxes here and there to open them for the promos and just for like product coverage just so you guys can see what's inside what you can expect to see inside and any other little info updates about Pokemon or what's coming up or what you should be expecting um, example like last time we covered the uh, the way they're doing hit distribution for booster boxes which I still think is incredibly handy um, if you haven't watched that video or you're wondering what I'm talking about um, you can find that on the channel just head towards the channel have a have a look click a few likes have a subscribe um, but it should be the triple blister packets where I talk about that um, bit of an interesting read um, would not mind more sample sizes and opinions on whether or not I'm onto something or if I'm completely wrong but I feel like I've, I've got a pretty good idea of what's happened I'm still relatively new to the hobby so I don't exactly like you know take my word for it I'm 100% correct and I think I'm never going to be like that I'm always got something to learn don't mind learning being being put in my place so to speak but it's very hard to deny when the numbers are right in front of you that everything's kind of following a, a certain game plan so continuing on this is the third last pack of the Gallade box uh, primarily speaking the reason why I got these ETBs one because I need the promos uh, for my master set binder for my promo book and two we get to see what's inside and that's what's being brought to you today so generally as well if you are a long time stayer of the channel you probably do know that I'm not a fan of ETBs I've never really been a fan of ETBs ETBs are very 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 hit and miss for me and I normally always hit that miss part and <laughs> I'm one of those ones where you kind of get the horror stories of like wow I spent this much for this um, and the only way this box can turn around right now is if this single packet right here is uh, magical so let's kind of hope that that turns around in one packet here or else this packet we have pretty much paid for a bunch of sleeves and a promo <laughs> which isn't bad I mean the promo is actually pretty nice and okay we get an Altaria so it's okay not too not too good not too great but it's something we got our promo I get my new set of dice that I need for actual playing thingy thing because I like to have different color ones so for the first box we got the guard chump we got the toxicity and we got the Altaria so not an amazing box but the second box could bring it back and most likely the one I always pick is the wrong one anyway it's, it's that's my superpower my superpower is picking the one that doesn't have anything in it so this one will unlikely have everything. I, I, without a doubt, I reckon. You know what? I'm just gonna call it now. Maybe probably jinx myself a bit. There's probably an old art sitting in this one. I'm coping. You can obviously tell I'm coping a little bit. We want an old art in here. Why not? Just give an old art. It's okay. Don't be shy. Come out. Um, we do need a few old arts to finish the set off. Obviously. I think there's like, from memory, just the top of my head, just from what we've seen so far, I think what you've got the Iron Valiant, you've got the Roaring Moon, you've got the Iron Hands, you've got the Altaria, you got the Sandy Shocks. I'm pretty sure there's another Pokemon that has another old art. Then you've got all the trainers, you got like Mela, Tulip, Chantal, Chantel, um, the two professors. Uh, yeah, there's so many old arts. So I like, I really feel like this set is probably the closest we're going to get to something that's like Evolving Skies but not being as brutal as Evolving Skies was or is and we get a Mewtwo EX which isn't too terrible this is a relatively good um, card that people are using in competitive for their Maridon decks I believe so not too bad we still got quite a few packs to go in this box we got five so it could turn it around completely and the cope is there or else we would have paid just for a bunch of promo cards <laughs> But at the same time, this kind of like, this, this opening these right now kind of solidifies my stance on ETBs and product in general. Booster boxes are always your way to go. If you want hits, get booster boxes. If you are going for certain product like a promo or, you know, you're, you're a dice collector or whatever, you kind of everything, you're just a diehard fan, then obviously ETBs are still fine. Um, but if you really want the promo, you could always just buy from someone that has, you know, is selling off the promo for far cheaper 
and just spend your money on booster boxes if you want them hits. So, okay, we get another Altaria. This bird is following me around. It's scaring me. I don't want any more than birds. Too many birds. Less birds, please. Three packets to go. Uh, but besides this, I don't, I don't know what other product will be coming out for Paradox Rift. Um, I know on the 17th of November, we will be getting the Roaring Moon and Iron Valiant um, EX boxes. And they should have a bunch of variants inside. But past that, I'm not too certain what they'll be. There should be a couple tins coming out at some point. Surely there has to be a couple bunch of tins with more promos. Ah, oh, excuse me, okay. So like I was saying, there'll probably be a few tins coming out, like they usually bring out per set. Maybe like an Evolving Powers tin or something like that. Hey! I got the Steelix! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. And we get a King Draw. Okay, we get... We get Steelix. This is such a nice looking card. I... I think it's a bit of a travesty. I reckon this card could have been old art. Honestly, easily. But I feel like, obviously, the way they're doing the old arts... I think they want to focus on the Paradox Pokemon, so... Understandable, but at the same time, that's what makes this set so nice, is the art rares all look like they'd be easy candidates for, for old arts anyway, so... Last packet. Let's see if we can get some last pack magic here. I'm not too confident. Purely because I just have no faith. Yep, I have no faith in ETBs. <sighs> Again, it kind of solidifies my, my, my point. So each box had three hits. <laughs> this one had the Steelix, which was obviously probably my best hit of the night. Uh, we got Steelix. We got Altaria. And we got the Mewtwo. In the first box, <laughs> we got Altaria. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we got the Altaria for this one, we got the Toxtricity, and then we got the Garchomp EX Crystallized Terra Medoodle thingy. So, again, this has pretty much solidified my stance on ETVs or any other product besides booster boxes because it is just a gigantic gamble. It's always going to be a gamble, but at least with the booster boxes you have a pretty much have a, a dedicated you're going to get 12 hits or if you're very unlucky 11 and you're going to get an old art and you're going to get a gold card um considering how much we pay you pay for uh example an etb i think it's like what on standard 80 dollars and let's say example here we paid 80 dollars times two 160 five bucks more you get a booster box and a lot more packets so it's like nine is it nine nine booster nine i threw the thingy away uh, should be down here. There we go. Um, so you get nine booster packs per box. You get 18 for the price of a booster box. And proof is in the pudding. It's all a gamble, but we got six hits. Four of them can be considered barely hits. <laughs> so we could just say for 90 bucks we paid for. <laughs> for 160 bucks we paid for two hits. It is what it is. But that's what these videos are here for. So you know what's inside. What do you expect? Kind of just solidifying the fact. Yes, booster boxes. If you're going to gonna ask me any day of the week, what should I be getting if I want hits? If I want to enjoy the hobby? If I want to try and complete a set? Booster boxes. Always booster boxes. That being said, though, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Take it easy. Hit the subscribe button. Leave a like. Leave any comments below if you need a question. And I'll catch you in the next one.